What's up guys and welcome to Tropico 6. This is the very first Tropico title that I have ever played. So if I do something stupid straight out the gate, try to go easy on me in the comments if you would. But I am extremely excited for this new series. Hopefully some of you guys are as well. But uh, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. So it looks like we can select our mission. There is a sandbox mode, but you guys know me in sandbox. I just, I get so bored. I get so bored. I need a challenge. And I think missions are technically a challenge. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we have the penultimo of the Caribbean, whatever that means. The very first joint adventure of El Presidente and his loyal aide, penultimo. I think that's how you pronounce it anyways. The story tells of how they met a murder conspiracy and Peneltimo, that is a really hard name to say, Peneltimo's masterful plan to fund their way into independence by smuggling gold nuts. Sure, sounds good to me. Mission focus, smuggling logistics, proclaiming independence. We can do normal difficulty, easy, or hard. I have played the tutorial, so I think I have a decent understanding. Let's just stick with normal for now. This game's crazy though, dude. Absolutely wild. I didn't even know something like this, like a city simulator existed. So I'm pretty excited to check this thing out. Most beloved Presidente, do you remember Tropical? Emerald palm trees, platinum beaches, and crystalline seas from which the sun reflects like the twinkling of jewels and golden coins. All right. So we got ourselves it a nice little I, island Presidente. here. Penultimo, your faithful aide, your Penultimo. biggest fan. I chronicled your triumphs. Fear not, for nothing was written down. Penultimo never forgets, unless he is told to, of course. So... Let us enjoy these stories of the past. And what better place to start than the time you first met your loyal penultimo, oh most successful Presidente. It was like the first sunrise of my life. Wow. This dude's super dedicated to El Presidente. That's El us, Dad, by the way. You must be the new governor. I'm Lord Wyndham, voice mm, of Lord the Lord Wyndham. And it's your job to do as I say until your mandate runs out at least all right no idea who this dude is powerful friends so maybe he's yeah he's iffy we're not really totally sold on him yet have a plantation of sugar seems easy enough let's go ahead and start that this is our main starting point so it looks like we already do have a plantation they're planting corn currently currently planting and harvesting corn we already have a port. Actually, just so I can get my bearings, let's pause things really quick so nothing, you know, gets all messed up. And let's just go around, look at what we have, and then we can figure out what we need. So we do have a port. It's on regular work controls. Otherwise, we can decrease it by 15 and uh, and put it on sniffer dogs. <laughs> some, dude, some of the stuff, like, obviously, since I haven't played any other Tropico titles, I have no idea what anything means. So... Please feel free to uh, to fill me in down in the comments if you have any suggestions to make or anything of the sort. We have a bunkhouse. That's just a place for people to live. A tavern to hopefully, you know, lighten up the residents a little bit, I suppose. We have construction office. We have teamsters office. They kind of control import and export, you know, all that good stuff. Plantation we already went through. And then this looks like a residential block with a chapel. Very cool. And lastly, over here, we have our palace as well as a cattle ranch. So we're, we're doing pretty, pretty well, I would say. There's there's not a whole lot we need to do immediately other than get that plantation for uh, the, the Englishman, whatever his name was. Lord Windham. Lord Roger Windham. That's my dude. That's my bro. All right, so we got some freighters coming in. They're giving us a little bit of money and some more inhabitants, which is always a good thing. But let's go into construction. And I need to figure out where everything is. So we need a plantation. I'm assuming that's probably food and resources. Plantation right here. Okay, and then these heat maps are going to sort of help us out in uh, in figuring out where the best place to place our, our buildings down is going to be. So I think... Just because there's already a road here? Oh, can I not place it in the trees? Oh, you're joking. Oh, it's because of the terrain issue right here. Can I can I do this side? No. 
So I'm thinking we <laughs> just put it down right next to our uh, our presidential house over here, the palace. All right, so we have started construction now, building under construction. Let's turn that to high priority. And then the Teamsters? No, Teamsters don't control this. It should be the construction workers. I don't see any of them right now, which is which is not good. I'm not gonna quick build this thing. Do we have, we do have construction employees. There's a couple in town. It looks like maybe they're just off the clock at the moment, which is totally cool. We're starting off with $81,000, which ain't that much. We have a population of 78, and 62% of the population is uh, is down to support us. But yeah, this is definitely not happening. <laughs> None of the construction employees are, uh, are going to work on that facility, so we have to figure out what's going on here. What is this? <laughs> what is this? I don't know what this is. We will resist govern, no taxation without representation, no bribery without clarity, and no corruption without discussion. We demand agency in our own injustice. That's a lot of, that's a, a lot of big words right there for small brain. Uh, build library, accept demand in time. 143 days, that's, that's not very much time, Sophia. Rewards can be chosen. 10 revolutionary immigrants. $2,000 or get a random blueprint. Consequence of not accepting in time, is minus five of the revolutionaries standing so we we don't want a revolution obviously we just started so i'm gonna go ahead and accept it's this nice offer to have choices isn't it oh choice my like god continuous governor lord win windham is back manual labor he wants us to build a tannery now we're gonna have to do both of them we are going to have to do both of them we need a tannery and a library what do we got in here Oh, we have to research the library. Wait, but we need knowledge to get the library, but the library is the way to get knowledge. What's going on, dude? There's still no one doing construction. Oh, there's one guy. There is one guy working construction. He is heading this way now. Thank heavens, dude. Okay, as soon as we get this plantation set up, we can change it from corn to sugar so we can Please, Mr. Windham. This whole library thing, though, is really confusing. Obviously, I, I want to build a library so we can impress that lady. But from what I understand, you need knowledge to unlock certain buildings and things. So normally that's done in the library. So I'm not really sure what's uh, what's going on there. But let's change this from corn to chuger. Oh no, I there's have a new instructions. D I mean suggestions. Come on, dude. The plantations growing nicely, I take it. Hmm? Oh yeah, cuz sugar. Nature. Sugar. But there's money in it. So now that we have sugar, Windham wants us to build a rum distillery so we can use that sugar for another possible export, which I'm down for, right? Super down for that. We have a couple of workers, so that's filling up nicely. All right, and we can't do any upgrades at the moment. So this this is as good as it gets. But back to the uh, the overlay thing. It looks like one of these, oh, here we go, crop conditions, sugar. So crop conditions here for sugar actually aren't that good. It looks like corn is okay pretty much everywhere. So I think we might even have to move the plantation already over just ever so slightly. Just look at this red area right here. That's not good. That's gonna that's gonna hurt us substantially. So I think I'm gonna move it over into this green area, and uh, and maybe that'll help us. Now, unfortunately, we do have to get a road. We have to connect this road all the way to I want to say right here. We have a meat trade offer. I'm not gonna accept any trade offers yet. I feel like that'd be really dumb of me to do because we're just getting started here. So I'm just gonna, you know, we're gonna import and export as we see fit. I'm not gonna sign any any contracts or treaties or anything with any other foreign countries. So moving right along here, let's go back into our research. See, this is the part where I'm really confused because we need a library, or maybe that's just the work mode. Can we, can we build the library already? Media and education, there it is, all right. So yeah, that is just the job, but we can actually place the library down if we wanted to do that, and I do, because I think it's pretty important. Where's the front? Where is the front of the building? Is this the front? That's the front. Okay, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna take out this little shack right here to make room for the library. Hopefully, uh, hopefully our inhabitants don't mind that much. What's cool about this though is that you start not like in medieval times, but you start with minimal technologies, and eventually you can advance into a full-on city, like a full-on modern city, and that's kind of the end goal here. I do think I'm gonna tone the music back just a just a tad. I do like it. But we're just gonna tone it back just a, a little bit. We now need a tannery as well as a rum distillery. I think the tannery would be best if it's close to the cattle ranch because then the hide would come from that and yada yada yada. Let's go ahead and get the rum distillery located probably around the, the sugar, the sugar cane farm here. It doesn't look like there's a heat map for this so we should be able to place this wherever. Place this down right there, right at the end of that road. Next on the list of things to do, we got our library, we got our rum distillery, we need our tannery, which again, I do wanna place close to that. So let's see if we can't move the palace. Reload, $2,500 to relocate. Oh man, but it's like right on the center strip here. Like that's a solid location. You can't fault that really at all. And then we have a possibility of having a side road over here. So what I'm thinking, if we go into roads, we should just bring this road out till about right there. And now, hopefully, if we grab our tannery right here. Yeah, dude, this is perfect. This is literally perfect. We can put our tannery pretty dang close to the uh, the cattle farm. All right, this one is about done. Oh, no, they're... Uh, <laughs> it looks like they might be on break. I wish it showed a time of day. I don't think it does. As soon as we get it finished, we'll be able to unlock knowledge, you know. Together, Governor Jew, I, and the people will turn everything around. That's right, Sophia. <laughs> that is right. Okay, so now, since we've finished the library, we can pick what our, uh, what our, our prize is, I guess. So we have 10 revolutionary immigrants, which... I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if I would want more Sophia's. She seems kind of pushy. We could take 2,000 bucks or we could get a random blueprint. I'm gonna go 2,000 bucks so we can kind of make some money back from, from building the library in the first place. And then we should probably choose a foreign worker since we don't have any education right now. If we hire a foreign employee for the library, they should hopefully be educated enough or at least have a high school education to then educate other people in in the area, if that makes sense. It's very confusing, you guys. It's still confusing to me. So if you don't understand right away, if you've never seen Tropico, I'm literally right there with you. So don't worry. It'll, it'll make sense eventually. I wonder if it would be smart to hire more workers in the construction office. It looks like for $1,200, we could get four more positions. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Your distillery seems to be working. Quick tip, Governor. It's best not to sample your own tipple, if you get my meaning. Hmm? Jolly good. Yes, okay, okay. So what he's saying is that basically you don't smoke what you grow, right? You don't drink the rum that you're making. I don't know if there's an option we can change that, but I'm definitely going to try because he is right. As much as I hate to agree with Lord Windham, he is right. I certainly make it my business to avoid your island cocktails. Too much coconut, you see. Did I mention that I'm allergic to coconut? Just one of the reasons I hate this place. All right. Extend mandate time by 12 months. I don't know what that means. So I'm gonna go 3,000 big ones. To fully oh. These islands. Insignia. We were basically going to get him off our back for 12 months. Or we should have done that. Bananas, giant apes, dinosaurs, whatever has monetary value. Cool. So build a teamster port on each of the three islands. Okay, but there is no time frame for this. So we can kind of do that whenever we need to. That's good. Expanding to the other islands is going to be a very large task that uh, would include, you know, obviously making bridges or having a method of transportation between the islands. And that sounds very expensive. We have $70,000 right now. I think the best thing for us to do is work on our imports and our exports so we can start to get a little bit more income here. Genuine export blend or supply local market. Okay, so supplying local market is what we don't want to do. Let's see if there are any other options. Uh, Dunder still decreases sugar consumption by 25%, $5,000. Let's do that. That sounds like a really good idea. 
And keep in mind, we don't even have electricity here yet. We have no power, nothing. This is, not, like I said, not medieval ages, but I must say, I'm we're a little behind. I'm glad still working with you. Finding we go. good help is so difficult these days. Mm, Mr. Winham. All right. Or, sorry, Lord. Lord Winham. I'm going to extend the mandate time by 18 months instead. So we can export tobacco, sugar, rum, rubber, pineapple, cotton, and corn. And we do have one available trade route. I definitely want to do rums plus 20%, dude. We almost have to do that. Let's go ahead and sign that contract. Now, if we go over to here, what this is saying is, is we basically signed a contract saying that we will export 2,500 units of our rum. And on completion, we'll get some, I don't know, some something, <laughs> some something that'll probably it's help so us right, progress. Governor, that we have to pay a bribe to find out how much to pay in bribes. Okay, didn't you, didn't you say this earlier, Sophia? Why are you, what are you on about this time? Produce a thousand corn, have a corn plantation. We do have that. Accept demand in 180 days. That also seems pretty easy. We're gonna go ahead and accept that offer. Look at that, we're already producing corn, dude. Not even a challenge. Not even a challenge. I don't know why she's trying. More, Governor, more. Oh my God. Always more. Leave me alone. The crown demands. Okay, so what does he want this time? Fulfill export trade route with the crown. Aren't we already doing that? I think we are already doing that because of that trade route that we had set up, right? With the rum, the whole rum thing. Yeah, as soon as we fulfill this, we should be good to go. So far, we haven't exported any of our rum, which is a problem. We have definitely got to get on that. Why are we not exporting our rum? I don't know, dude. Hopefully, eventually we can start exporting that. We have 99 people in here currently, and it looks like most everyone's living in shacks. Otherwise, they're probably in these bunk houses over here. We do have two of these country houses, which are actually a little bit better, a little bit nicer than the bunkhouse, but they don't um, house as many people. As yet only marginally glorious, but with your continued support, Governor, the people oh. will make it shine. I was like, why is Sophia bugging us again? It's because we produced a thousand corn without even thinking about it. Like I said, not a challenge. So we can do 10 revolutionary immigrants. I don't know if, if Viva la Revolution is good for the island, for Tropico. I, I don't know if that's a good thing. So I'm going to skip out on that. We'll take the $2,000 again. Someone feel free to fill me in on if we want the revolution immigrants. I really have no idea. Oh no, this is not good. We are under, we are under attack. That's really not good, actually. And here's why. I have no security. I have no military defenses whatsoever. So we should probably get on with that. Oh no, that's stuff we have to research. Pirate Cove is not going to help us out. That's for like stealing the Eiffel Tower and, and stuff like that, which is sick. You can actually do that. Guard Tower might be good. Otherwise we just have a fort. We could, could just do a fort. So let's buy the blueprint for $2,000 for the fort. I think that's probably a, uh, a smart idea. First, we're gonna figure out where the front door of the fort is so we can get this lined up properly. I think, it should be on this side. So let's place that down right there. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't need a road, but I'm assuming it probably does. Uh, it doesn't actually, cause they wouldn't, they wouldn't export anything. In case of attack, the troops sent by this building will assemble at the bu buildings to defend, waiting for attackers. In case of attack, the troops sent by this building will actively try to intercept attackers before they reach their target. That's the one we want. For sure. I'm gonna quick build this one because I don't know I don't know when we're going to be under attack. But obviously this one's being targeted. Now if we hit play, this should quickly build the fort. And now let's hire a foreign worker for this. Utility installation. If a worker has their healthcare happiness lower than 30, they will receive healthcare service with a quality of 30. If a worker has their faith happiness lower than 25, they will receive faith service with a quality of 25. That seems like a pretty good thing. I'm gonna go ahead and purchase that. I don't know what it means, but it sounds good. All right, so we should be ready to rock on the on the front there. We should be able to to defend the buildings within reason. Let's check in on our rum. So far, still not exporting anything. Maybe it takes a while for us to actually deliver the rum. Is that <laughs> is that how this works? 
Yes, exported 500 rum of 2,500. Okay, so it just updated. I just looked at it a little too soon. $62,000, so we are making a little bit of profit, but definitely not as much as I would like. And uh, around 69% of our inhabitants actually like us. Are these our rebel forces coming to uh, attack? Or are these, our, are these our guys? Honestly, I can't tell. Those are pirates. Those are bad guys, and they're coming to steal our rum. Uh, okay, and we do we do have our forces out here. We're looking good. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tail these dudes. Just follow them around a little bit, and we're gonna see how they engage with the pirates. The pirates are over there. No 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 no. Are you dumb or are you stupid? Maybe there's more pirates. I don't know, but they ran right past them. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got we got some boys in the prone shot over here. Come on. Come on. Don't you dare take out my squad. Don't you dare take out my squad. I love their hats, dude. They look awesome. And we got the, the distillery worker. He's like, oh no. Oh no, I gotta go. I gotta go. I ask myself, Governor. Do the ends justify being mean? You just want a thousand more corn? Done. Consider it done. Oh, these guys came up from the from the rear approach. That makes sense. We only got uh, two two pirates left. One pirate left. I think we're doing okay. It doesn't look like we lost any of our guys. Maybe one, maybe two, and now that pirate is no longer a problem. I definitely thought that was a body. It's just a flower patch. All right, yeah, I'd say job well done on that. All right, sweet. Defensive, man the ramparts. Offensive, only available in multiplayer. There's a multiplayer to this game? I can only imagine how hectic that is, dude. No, thank you. I will stick to solo single player for the time being. Maybe someday if I actually get good at this game, we can, we can do a multiplayer, but that sounds a little dicey at the moment. A little dicey. Oh, and we actually have field workers? You're telling me they go around the whole field with just a watering can, there's no irrigation system? That's whack, dude. I actually kind of feel bad about that. Maybe we can upgrade this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we can we can modernize it later on. Nope. Not yet, though. Not yet. We need... Probably need electricity before we can do anything like that. Okay, so still 500 out of 2,500, so we do have some more time until we finish that. What else we got, though? Cocoa, rubber, or tobacco. We currently only have corn and sugar, so maybe we should figure out another possible export. I mean, I, I would like to export the uh, the tanned hides, or the, the leather, I guess. It, it just becomes leather. I'm a little slow, okay? I'm a little on the slow side. But we could, hopefully, whenever an export opens up for leather, I think that'd be a, a really good idea. Otherwise, I think there might even be a clothing store that we could get so we could take the cows, get the hides, take them to the tannery, make them into leather, and then take the leather to the clothing store, make some boots or something, I don't know, and maybe we can export clothing instead. That might be a good idea. Viva la revolucion! Noise. Together, Governor Ju, I, and the people will turn everything around. You've said this all before, Sophia. This is, this is old news. This is old news, okay? I'm gonna take $2,000 from you again. But thank you for your business, I guess. That's, it's awfully nice of you to keep coming back to us for just a thousand corn. All right, just because I'm super oddly anal about this type of stuff, I'm gonna move this rum distillery over ever so slightly. We're going to expand this road from here to here. That looks nice. And now we should be able to move this closer to the road. Just so everything looks a little bit cleaner, a little nicer, you know? There we go. After the dust settles, we should be ready to rock again. Look at this thing, dude. That's wild. Absolutely wild. I do think this area should be a resort, though. Whenever we do get to the to the modern times, we should probably just make that a resort. All right, let's check what we got going on in here. Revolutionaries, we've obviously won them over quite a bit due to the, to, to the corn that we got. Oh, they're factions. Okay, that makes more sense. They should have just said that from the get-go. Fisherman's Wharf. Would be good. Active overlay selected fish. Yeah, here we go. This seems like a good spot. And now we just have to bring a simple road out this way. Shouldn't be too terribly difficult. I feel like this should be actually kind of fast. 
cannot build bridges across the sea in the colonial era. That makes sense. Yeah, they obviously didn't have bridges back then, did they? So how are we going to get over here? Because this whole island is separated by a river leading out to the sea, as well as a waterfall, which is very pretty. Oh my god, I did not think about this. I did not think about this at all. Oh, here we go. We can do a wooden bridge over in this neck of the woods. Okay, that's looking good. We'll go through these trees, and we'll bring it down, connect it up right there. Perfect. Okay, so now we have a working road system out to the fishery. So I think that's going to allow our construction employees to start making their way over here. Dude, I just can't believe that. We don't have any cars or, or anything. Oh, pirates. No, 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 no. Where they at? Where they at, though? I'll, I'll mess them up. Build a tavern. I can do that. I, I can do that. That's that's a super easy one. Hang on. Hang on. Um, Tavern. Tavern, tavern, tavern. Entertainment, tavern. Let's just put another tavern right down next to this tavern, right? Seems like a good idea. We're good. Where are these pirates at, though, dude? Do they, like, come on shore somewhere? Where are the pirates at? Oh, I found them. <laughs> They're in an actual pirate ship. That's pretty dope. That's really dope, actually. I want to see, see what happens when they, you know, actually hit land. I am kind of mad at myself that I've never played any of the other... Oh, yeah, there they go. Any of the other Tropicos? Our revolution is as yet only marginal. Nice. But with your continuous support... All right, I'm going to get 10 revolutionary immigrants. Why not? We'll see what that does. But uh, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, right. And then these guys are just going to run right past them. Super smart. You guys are geniuses. Apparently, this is the quote-unquote best Tropico they've ever made, so... That's nice, at least, right? Yeah, you guys, you missed them. They're right back there. I believe they're about to intercept, hopefully. Oh, dude, the pirates are scared. The pirates are scared. They're trying to run away. You dumb. You dumb. Get in the prone shot. You'll be safer in prone, I promise. And then we got these guys coming up from behind. Nicely done. Sorry, boys, you tried. You tried your best. Were they... Oh, they were just coming to do anything. They weren't trying to steal rum or anything like that. Interesting. Very interesting. They were just coming after this bunkhouse. I don't know what good that would have done for them, but we now have our fishing port all finished up. We got a couple of boats in the water over here. All right. Forefather style, I guess, is the only option we can do. Allow for local consumption. I'm also okay with that. And we can get a fishing dredge. In addition to fish, the workers harvest 0.25 units of shellfish on base efficiency. Ugh. Let's do it, let's do it. I think we're doing pretty dang well though, dudes. I think we're doing pretty dang well here. The pirates are all dead, of course. Didn't stand a chance. Oh, let's check in on, on that other trade and then I think we will wind things down for episode one. This has been a ton of fun. It's very fast paced. I really like that about it. It's very fast paced. 1,785 out of 2,500 units of rum have been traded so we're about there i think we'll be able to finish that up in the next problem. episode Do the ends justify <sighs> the mean. sophia for independence any sacrifice is worthwhile sophia i'm trying to wind down the episode okay and now you want me to build a chapel fine you know what for you i'll do it okay i'm pretty sure we already have one of these yep and we do but you want another one let's just put that chapel right next to the other chapel right that makes sense all right, and I do think I'm going to wind things down here. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.